Hey, happy Friday, everybody. This week marks one year since I had my brain bleed. And I remember that day, um, and it was, uh, I was cutting up salsa, uh, tomatoes to make salsa, and immediately I had one of the worst headaches I've ever had in my life, the worst headache I'd ever had in my life. And I didn't know then, but it would lead to a week long in the hospital, and multiple doctor's appointments, and tests, and pokes, and prods, and all that stuff. And the good news is, I'm done with it all, right? There's no more doctor's appointments, no more visits, I'm done. And, and so I look back on this past year, and I'm like, man, I don't want to do that ever again. Um, I would hate to go through that ever again. And it kind of got me thinking a little bit as we're preparing for this new series in Ephesians, starting Sunday. We're calling it One. And we're looking just at the, the book of Ephesians. So we're going to be in chapter 1 of Ephesians. So if you're coming Sunday, uh, make sure to re start reading Ephesians chapter 1. And that's what we're going to be studying. And in it, ta Paul talks about spiritual blessing. And sometimes as Christians, I think we can misuse that term. What does it mean to be blessed? Uh, especially when things like brain bleeds happen and catastrophes happen or relationship issues happen. Those things don't feel like blessing. And so we're going to talk about that. And how can we go through those things and still be blessed? Because Paul uh, really describes what that looks like. And so, so come and, and be ready to, uh, to dig into Ephesians. Man, I'm excited for the fall. I'm excited uh, for what's in store. There's a lot of cool things happening that we'll, we'll be able to roll out over the next few weeks. And uh, excited to see you on Sunday. All right, we'll see you then.